Hi guys, this is days 11 to 20 of our Project Russia 100 days run, and I may have found the best base I've ever seen. But before we do get started, my next goal is 20,000 subscribers, so if you do enjoy my videos and you're not already, do remember to subscribe and help us get there. Thanks guys, now a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to set up a Project Zomboid server for you and your friends but not sure where to start? Well, with today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli, all you need to do is click the link in the description or pinned in the comments and select how many players you want. There is no confusing options and they offer a wide range of benefits including an easy to use control panel to make it as simple as possible to get started. It really hasn't been easy with these guys. It won't break the bank either as they offer very competitive prices and also offer a two day free trial to test it out first with no credit card details required. So why not give it a go with the link below. Thank you Indifferent Broccoli for sponsoring this video, now let's get on with it. Okay, we're back on day 11. Now we got a lot to do over the next 10, we got a lot to do. What I want to try and do is get into this town, into the city a little bit, at least to here, and maybe even up to this airfield as well. I'm not too sure yet, we might save that for a little bit, but I definitely want to get in here and see how we're looking and hopefully get some supplies. So we're probably just going to crack on, go on in foot, I reckon, first. Canneries, we're looking good, we're looking good. We do need a bit of food in us though. Actually, our calories are quite high. Uh, let's see some corn. Uh, Maybe take a bag of chips or two with us as well. I think we're going to go axes this run. We'll see. We'll see. But let's get over and have a look, shall we? We're going to go on foot first. See, assess the situation. Okay, so we are over into the city now. I can't read the signs, so <laughs> I don't have a clue what kind of buildings these are. We'll soon find out, though. This is no building. <laughs> oh, maintenance up. Yes, please. Now, we still need watchers and everything like that to get electrical up. Right, let's try and get in this building, see what this is. Oh, it looks like some kind of store, which is good. Yeah, okay. We got a how to use generators. Oh, we got maps here, but our map is. Oh, we do have how to use generators. Amazing. I love how everything's got like its own texture in this map mod. It's really good, actually. Oh, we got more houses here. Look at this house. Look at this. What is this place? Some kind of warehouse, actually. You know what? I really like this location. We may actually move here. This is right by a water source as well. A lot of farming stuff in here. Oh, my God. A machete. What? What? Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh my god, another machete. What? What the hell? The spawns are just standard apocalypse. I don't know how the hell we managed to get two machetes. I'm not complaining. We may go machetes now then. <laughs> so this, I'm going to actually mark because it's a potential base location because I really like this actually. We'll put a bed there as a maybe because I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the water situation. I do worry about water. Ah, we haven't read Taylor. We need tailoring, don't we? Okay, so let's maybe do some houses and look for some books that we're going to need. So we're going to need carpentry and everything. We could even, you know, completely turn this into some kind of, you know, build our own base in there or something. Let's do these houses. Ooh, what is that there? That is a padded jacket. Oh, I think we wear it, you know, because it will keep us warm. Let's put it on for now, see how we get on. We'll keep the leather jacket as well okay so not really many books in there we'll actually do these houses along here i'll make sure i mark them off as we go as well <laughs> So it doesn't seem like the population is that high, but I've got a feeling because there's a load of high fences, they're all going to be stuck like inside the fences and stuff like that. I can hear a lot of banging around. So we just got to be careful we don't go barreling in somewhere and there's like 20 of the bastards in there. Looks like it is a party house. Oh, I've actually found a bleach bottle. We'll have that. That's quite nice. Means we can't put any attachments on our backpack yet. That will do. Let's mark these houses off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 Get off me. Get off me. Oh, they took a chunk out of something. I don't know what. We got to be careful. Oh, padded jacket. You bastards. It's a brand new jacket. Jeez. Yeah. See, this is getting getting too confident. Nearly drank the bloody bleach then as well. Oh, yeah, that was bloody lucky, that was. All right, we have a needle. Let's actually rip some leather as well because we will try and patch our... It's a little bit annoying that we've 
got a rip in it already. Been in literally only got it five minutes ago. Uh, we can't make friend because it doesn't count the scissors. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll get the scissors back at base. Actually, let's head back for the day, I think. We got carpentry too, which is nice. Okay, we are home safe and sound, which is nice. Let's clean all of these bandages. Let's fill up all our waters. Let's read all these mags so they're done. Yeah, right forearm. You bastard. Uh, we'll rip the leather. It's fine. We will keep the padded jacket on, I think. All right, let's patch this up with a leather. Nice. And we'll also just add leather to the jacket anyway. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. May as well add it to our pants. As Actually, no. Let's add it to our hoodie. There we go. Oh, what a day. What a bloody day. We got we got lucky going in that house. Gotta be careful. Okay, so we've done a fair a fair bit of it. Maybe we drive down to this little building here tomorrow and see what that is. And maybe some of these. I got a feeling these are gonna be like shops down here. Yeah, we could really do with tailoring. Because I feel I might I might try and level tailor and get it quite high to add some nice protection on because I don't think we got much armor. There's no armor mods on today. Because a high tailoring level is pretty nice, actually. Okay, but it is eleven o'clock. Are you gonna go to bed tomorrow? Yeah, we'll drive, we'll drive over to that building so we'll see you then okay day 12 let's just get up and out actually let's have some food because we're a little bit hungry we could do with a satchel uh we got snow outside we are actually going to have some ice cream as well for the calories and because once the power goes out it's going to be useless so Right, yeah, let's drive on over to that building. Hopefully it's a school and we can get ourselves some nice books. Oh, it's a bloody church. Okay, well, this looks interesting here. We'll go and have a look in that. Oh, we got a few in here by the sounds of it. Oh, that's just one. And look at this, like a little power substation or something. Nice. Well, let's go and have a look in here then. Oh, look, we can pick this antique oven up. Let's take it. Let's take it. Okay, that's good. I guess it's just whichever way they're, they're kind of positioned to pick them up, because that was the normal way. So let's grab that. We'll put it in the car, and then we can destroy that other one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Didn't plan this very well, did I? Okay, nice. So we got an antique oven that we can position better, which is good. What else was in here? We didn't really have a look, did we? I need books. I need books. I mean, we may as well go have a look in the church buildings we're here. You never know. We might find something. Got a load of books, but not the ones we're looking for. We will take them MREs, though. Ah, Taylor and one. Yes, Thank you very much. I'm so glad we came in the church now. Ooh, long gloves. We don't have any gloves, so we will take them. Keep the old pinkies warm. And a dust mask, because that will keep us warm as well, actually. And also protect us from the old corpse sickness, which is always good. All right, let's walk down a little bit further, being as we are down here. Looks like we got some kind of shops or something down here, so this could be quite good. Uh, actually looks like residential, to be fair. Yeah, so it looks like it's more residential. And we can go in some houses, that's fine. We can have a look. What's this thing? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, what is that building? Let's try and get in there. Yeah, this is something, isn't it? Okay, we got a mechanics. Interesting, interesting. So 
some kind of restaurant here. I'm really too worried about that. Okay, well, I think we, we head back. It's definitely a lot of residential up here, isn't it? Oh, long blade up. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, we are home. Let's grab the sledgehammer. Let's grab the stove. Actually, let's leave the stove there. Let's smash this one down first. Destroy the stove. There we go. Look at that. Loads better now. Lovely stuff. Lovely. Right, we can actually stop putting stuff in there now then for when the power goes out and it gets a little bit cold. Got our MREs. Are they going to fit in the fridge there? It looks like they are. Nice, nice. Do we have metal working one? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm actually going to dismantle these because they're annoying me being there. Or just going to destroy them, but you know, we may as well dismantle them. It's a shame we haven't read metal working one, but it is what it is. I'm actually going to chop some wood as well for the rest of the day to put in our nice new stove. There we go. Add fuel logs, all of them surely how much time has that given us 36 hours okay <laughs> that should do us for well 36 hours all right it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're gonna be doing some reading i think so we'll see you then all right day 13 let's just get cracking and start reading what else can we read i think carpentry 2 as well possibly let's just have a quick look yeah carpentry 2 and taylor and that's what we need all right so we've read taylor and one let's make a start on carp 2 may have to read again tomorrow possibly actually let's get some food we're pretty hungry shall we have some yeah have some peanut butter because our calories are ah, 78 and rising so that's not too bad let's also have a smoke okay so it's 10 past 11 we didn't manage to get carp red but that's fine we'll finish it tomorrow we'll go to bed and we'll uh, see you then all right day 14 let's just get cracking finishing carpentry two let's just do it all right so just finished carpentry it's 10 past two so not really much time to do anything else for the day we are getting tired as well we will have a smoke though no don't drop them all on the floor probably don't need this other machete on us either you know and we will rip some of these up just for the rest of the day actually because we'll make a little bit of thread and being as we've got some denim we may as well just put it on our clothes you know all right there we go there we go let's get some food in us maybe an mre let's treat oh machine gun outside now let's have some plonkies some high here's just some junk food really yeah so i think maybe i mean this this could be some kind of shopping outlet here with the car park here but then these are quite small maybe we go have a look at that tomorrow yeah and we can also go to the the ship as well i don't know how busy that's gonna be it's 10 to 11 we're gonna have a smoke we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to push push into hopefully the city and find ourselves some nice shops. Maybe a gun store would be nice with a suppressor. Not holding out much hope, but maybe. But then, you know, we haven't got any aiming, so we need a shotgun. But we got options. We got options. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 15. Wow, we have woken up very, very late. We should have gone to bed a little bit earlier, I guess. But that's fine. That is fine. Let's grab ourselves some food. Maybe something a little bit low in the calories. Because, yeah, 79 on rising. So let's just have some cod liver. Why not, eh? But let's get up there. Let's go and have a look at that little car park area and see uh, see what we can see up there. I don't mind finding a generator. That'd be really nice. Especially as there is a fuel station just over the bridge. Oh, what is this? this place here we gotta go check this out haven't we little detour this looks interesting some storage units which could have a generator in guess it's just some kind of storage lot oh my god is that a generator yes it is oh amazing look at that we are laughing oh military boots as well yes please all right let's go dump this generator off now, even the generator's got different texture. I love it. I love it. Love this mod. A lot of car parts. Don't really need them. All right, well, let's mark this place off as done. Nice, nice. I'm glad we stopped here. Great little place. Okay, so we are parallel to that little car park place I wanted to get in. See if we can find an entrance somewhere. This looks like it could be military, maybe. Or I don't know. It could be... They could be garages, not tents. Oh, what's this? Oh, God. Is it? Is it risky getting out here? Let's see the car running. Let's take some baiters. So I can okay up here. So all these high walls are really good to have around, actually. Nice, leveling Taylor, and we will bloody take that. Okay, we nearly got another level as well. Yeah, look, half a level. Nice. Oh, there we go. Taylor in two. Bloody amazing. 
Amazing. Right, let's put this Fred and the lever in there. We will keep all the Fred because I don't think we we only have a little bit back at base. All right, what the hell is this building then? Oh, a big old supermarket. Nice, nice. Okay, what kind of stuff we got in here? Bit of everything by the looks of it. A lot of food. Lots of food. Okay, empty camping canteen. We'll take that. Can we find another one? Giant water bottle. We will actually. I uh, wouldn't mind taking that, but we can't. Yeah, let's go drop it off. It's very heavy, but let's go drop it off. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Drop the water bottle. Drop the water bottle. Oh, that was a little bit, a uh, little bit nerve-wracking then. Oh, it's 7 p.m., so we should probably head back. Actually, yeah, we weren't down here long. But let's head back, and we'll get back in a routine. Let's actually mark this as well. I do want to come. We will come back down here tomorrow because I want to get in here. But we will mark that as food as well. Okay, we've made it home, safe and sound. Can we actually take the generator? Yeah, we are so overweight. Let's drop this down here. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. We don't really need it at the house just yet. Okay, let's put our giant water bowls somewhere because they are just taking up so much room. What mod are they actually from there? Canteens and bottles, nice. Let's actually get rid of some of this junk in here. There we go. We are, of course, going to have to put the bleach bowl back in there because they can't fit on our backpacks. Now we can put backpack attachments on. Yeah, these have got to go in here. You can't actually put them on the backpack once we've added attachments. I don't even know if we can add attachments to this. It is a modded in backpack, hopefully. Right, let's go get all of our leather. Lovely. We really need a satchel. I hate having all of this jazz in my backpack here. We need Fred as well, don't we? Ah, that's annoying. No, we can't. Okay. All right, well, we'll have to figure something out. That is a little bit annoying, so we're gonna look out for a new bag. Oh, I hear a zombie banging. Get out of it, you bastard. All right, well, we got a camping canteen anyway, and it does hold quite a lot. So that might do us just one of them. We'll see how we get on. How are the cows on our weight looking? 79 and rising. Okay, so let's just have some, some carrots then. Okay, it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed. We're going to try and get back into our normal routine. And tomorrow, I think we're going to push back up to there. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 16. We've woken up at a reasonable time, 10 to 7. I'm happy with that. I think we're just going to get straight on with it today. Have a little bit of food first. We'll take a couple of peas with us well we'll eat the peas now and let's get back down to that supermarket and that other building so we need another backpack now <laughs> i want one that i can put attachments on also we want taylor in two carpentry three i believe as well now the only problem with all this snow is it is killing the fps but then that could be just the amount of buildings and zombies around but i've got a feeling it's the snow <laughs> okay so we are back down here let's go and kill these zombies here so they don't sneak up on us Right, let's have a proper old loot then, shall we, in here. So there's a lot of food, but it's not really food we're looking for. We're looking for anything else. There's just a carrier bag with two axes and some chocolate in. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Because we do want to go axes once the machetes break. Oh, another giant water bottle. Do we take it? Let's go drop it off at the car quick. I'm guessing they're like water dispenser sizes. So we've essentially got three water dispensers. School bag. Now we can add attachments to that, but um, it's not worth the, the loss in carry capacity. We'll take a pipe wrench. Can't remember if we've got one. More axes. Nice. Okay, so we got a fair amount of good stuff from there. A lot of weaponry, a lot of axes. Yeah, and another water bottle. So that's good. That's really good. Right, okay, let's go try and get into this place here then. I mean, there's a police car there, so it makes me think maybe it's some kind of military or police complex thing. Maybe we should actually be using axes just to up our skill. Oh yeah, look. Oh my god. Does that work? Oh my god. This has got to be some kind of military place. Has oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did all these come from? How is our axe skill? Ah, uh, nearly at level one. Okay. This has got to be some kind of military place, hasn't it? Military depot, maybe? For the vehicles? Ah, leveling axe, nice. Oh, look, there's fuel pumps there. Yeah, this is some kind of military refueling place. This ain't a bad shout for a base, you know. Let's try and clear it out a bit. Look at all the cars we've got if we need them. I mean, we would be pretty safe except for the main gate. Oh, we got duffel bags, we got duffel bags. Let's actually take that. I don't know if we're going to use it. I don't know, but we got options now. Oh, and leather gloves as well, look at this. Police bat, police jacket. Oh, AK submachine gun. We'll have that. Nine millimeter. We'll take that. Oh, look. Even the police outfits are different. There's a lot of effort and work gone into this mod. It's so good. I think we move down here and look at all the cars we can do mechanic skills on. 
Yeah, we could get in this building here, couldn't we? We could even take one of these trucks up to move all the stuff from our base. Oh, we got water dispenser as well. Toilets. No beds, but we can find one. We can find one. We got chairs to sleep on anyway. It's no different to what we're sleeping on now. Oh, look at this building. Oh my God. This place is massive. Look at this. Oh, look at all this stuff. Yeah, we're doing it. We're moving up here. Oh my God, look at all of this. Look at it all. It's not military, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Ah, uh, there is a gate there as well. Okay, maybe we block that with a car, I think. Let's actually open it so they don't smash it down. Okay, we got a burnt down house here. That's fine. Is this some kind of shop, maybe? Oh, what are they wearing? Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Looks like some kind of military. Oh, they've got gas masks as well. Try not to rip their clothes. Oh, they're firefighters. Let's wear the helmet. Yeah, it's not going to give us as much insulation and stuff, but I think the mask will, won't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I'm thinking, do we wear the firefighter clothes? Because the insulation and wind resistance is really good. Blue, green on everything. I think we wear it, you know. Yeah, I think we wear the firefighters. Maybe not the trousers, but definitely the, the top. Oh, let's see what else we're looking like around here. Gotta be careful, because we're going to start getting tired soon, so maybe we switch the machete empty house there i think the problem with the firefighter though is yeah it make it's making us slower so yes it has made us a little bit slow so i think we will take the padded jack actually no because it's got a hole in it let's just wear the fireman stuff to hell with it extra protection as well okay so we are getting tired so we just gotta be careful here let's just have a quick look see if we can get lucky with a key in one of these because we can't quite hotwire yet the electrical's nearly there but mechanics is not I think we sleep here for the night, you know, and then we'll fully assess all of the, all of the cars tomorrow. Have we got somewhere safe in here? Uh, I suppose this is kind of safe. Just heard something smash. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's try and get some planks to board that window up. Ah, oh, leveling car up. Nice. Okay, let's leave this padded stuff here because I say we are coming back up. So we'll just pop that there for now. Board these windows up. Oh, we didn't get nails. We put the nails in the car. Damn it. All right, we got to sell some nails. Don't know if it's going to be enough, but we can get a few planks on there. All right, we barricaded the window up. Nice, nice. We've also put the water dispenser there. Yeah, we need to grab our stove and everything. Oh, I love it. I love this place. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Yeah, if we put the generator like here, we should fuel power that and our little house here amazing stuff really good location but it is 11 o'clock we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to go and have a look for other vehicles see if we can find a key for one of the trucks because i'll just make our life a hell of a lot easier if not we're taking our taking our police car but we'll see you in the morning okay day 17 we've awoken at well, 11 o'clock we're sleeping in late lately aren't we jesus all right well let's crack on oh look at our beard coming through as well let's see if we can find a big truck. Oh, yeah, I want to check this out as well. Let's see if we can find a big truck to drive home to bring all of our stuff. This is amazing if we can get in it. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, I guess this is the engine at the back here. Has it got any fuel in it? Gas tank. Now, there's no gas in it, but that's fine. How do we get in? <gasps> we can. We can. <gasps> oh, and it's got the key. It's got the key. Oh, my God. Where's the... Uh... Where's the boot then? Is there no boot on it? Doesn't look like there is. Okay, so it's mainly just armor, but that's fine. That's fine. If we need to go somewhere, we're taking the big boy. Okay, so we do need a, a truck, ideally. Don't know, like we're having much luck. What else we got? We got a couple of, I mean, I'll take this little van thing over here, to be honest. This is a bloody good base. It really is. Probably the best base I've ever seen. Oh, okay, okay. We got a key for this. What's the storage like in it? Might be enough, you know. It doesn't have gas, but that's fine. 81. Hmm. Don't pull that out for now. Probably more than our current vehicle. Let's see if we can get a bigger truck, though. All right, there's one more down here. Oh, yes, and there's a key in it. No fuel, but that is absolutely fine. Pretty good condition. How do we get in the trunk, though? Won't let us. Hmm. Maybe because there's canopies on. I don't know if we can take it off. Doesn't look like we can take it off. And I 
not too sure how to do it or is it just open anyway yeah oh look at this it's just open anyway there's a bloody corpse in there brilliant oh we got ammo oh look at this right we got a lot to do we got a lot to do. let's go drop all this ammo off back at the house all right, let's go get our other car oh we've also got the bloody supermarket here as well oh we are sorted all right let's go fill up with the gas here can yeah take fuel okay so they do work as fuel pumps amazing right let's go down here right let's go back to the old base I'm going to say this nice and slow because she does not handle well at all. Okay, we have made it home. Now the job of moving everything over. It shouldn't take too long. It's a shame we lost all that wood in there, but, you know, I'd rather have this amazing base. Okay, just do a final sweep. We have everything, it seems. Right, let's try and get... Get back. Let's just check the garage. And there's a load of car parts, but there's plenty of them down there anyway. Right, let's get back. All right, we are back home. Our new home. Look at it. Right, I've got a load of books on us. But these are the ones that we've read. So I just wanted to bring them to use as to start the fire and stuff. So I want to put them here so I don't get them mixed up. That's the first thing I want to do. I can also hear some zombies around somewhere. Mm, doesn't look like it. I want to see if I can get some of these crates as well. Okay, we managed to get two. We did break a couple as well, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got a crate there for weapons and a crate there. I'm going to put the food up there, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a few days of sorting, I think, on this one. Okay, but it is 10 to 11, so we're probably going to go to bed soon. And then tomorrow, yeah, it's probably going to have to be another base day sorting all this out. But it's definitely worth it. Let's just get the generator out and pop that down. Why not? Uh, yeah, I think it may have to go like here, possibly. Like here. Put it here and see how we get on with it. But yeah, it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 18. We've woken up at a reasonable time, which is nice. Let's fill our water up. Good old toilet water. Right, and let's continue sorting. We may have to go and see if we can get some more crates. Yeah, let's just go get some. We're going to need them, aren't we? All right, we're just breaking them everywhere now. Let's see if we can get one of these shelving units. Okay, we did get one of them. That's fine. Let's get back. We probably should have done that in the first place. And dis Oh, nice, sprinting. Yeah, we probably should have done that in the first place and just uh, dismantled the crates for carpentry skill. So we'll have melee weapons there, and this side will actually have guns i think and in this one here we will have tools and outside we'll have this large shelf maybe for maybe for metalworking stuff and mechanic stuff maybe hmm, actually maybe we should have used this for food or something oh well we'll put it there anyway actually we'll just put all of our crafting stuff in here shall we yeah crafting stuff in there tools in here all of our important stuff in this one actually do you have a bookcase so we'll put all of our lovely bucks in there put our propane and stuff in here we'll also put our jack wrench and everything like that there we go welding mask can go in there look at all the water we've got here jeez okay we got the antique stove we're actually gonna put that in here i think mm. no we'll put it in here where we're gonna have our bedroom oh we can't destroy them okay that's interesting actually maybe we put it maybe we put the stove there yeah let's do that oh i did not mean to do that that's not good uh, we're gonna have to take a let's drop the sledge we're gonna have to take a window from somewhere aren't we that's annoying we'll be fine we'll find a window somewhere oh they broke down that gate all right we have a window good 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 hey the window is back we did we lost our planks but we have a window now there we go we have the stove in the bedroom nice now what we will do is put a metal sheet on that window i think we can at no levels i believe let's go grab some we got bloody plenty of them that's for sure yeah you can barricade a metal sheet right so we'll do the ones that are open so like this one there we go and we'll do the outside of the one around here so no Pesky zombies can get in. Nice, nice. We may as well do one around the front as well, because we got the sheet on us. Because I don't know what the pop's like here. It could be crazy. Oh, we can actually weld with this mask on, apparently. That is nice. That is very nice. All right, what have we got in here still? Okay, we are getting tired, but I don't want to go to bed just yet, because it is quite early. Right, let's actually go and get another rack of shelves, and we'll put our water on that, I think. Oh, look at all these. Where the hell did all you bastards come from? There we go. We got our water shelf. We have got another metal sheet, so I want to board that sheet that window up. Let's see if we can do it in our mask, because we don't have the welding mask on us. Yes, we can. Nice. Amazing. We don't have to carry around a bloody mask with us now. A welding mask. Oh, amazing. Look at it. It's amazing in here. I love it. I love it. Okay, so tomorrow, I think we'll look at blocking up that gate that's been smashed with some cars. But it is half past ten. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 19. I can hear a zombie wandering around. I don't know if he's the other side of the gate. Oh, Oh, look at this fog bloody hell yeah i think they're the other side of the gate right well we gotta block that entrance off haven't we so let's get the jerry can do one of these have a key in them oh we got another generator here as well 
There we go, that should do for now anyway. They can crawl under, but it still should be fine. I can hear him banging on windows somewhere. Oh, I think it's this guy in here, isn't it? He's still not broken out. Hey, buddy. Now, what I also want to do as well is chest out this little van here, because I imagine it's got better boot capacity than our vehicle, than that police cruiser. Wait, do we? Yeah, we do have the key for it, don't we? Yeah, yeah that's a nippy little thing, this is. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll take that. 81 in that. What's in this? Oh, 136. Okay, no, we'll be keeping the police cruiser then. We also have this bloody APC down here as well, don't we? If things get a little bit tasty. I mean, I imagine this drives like an absolute boat. Did we have the keys for it? Yes, we did. Jeez. Bloody hell. That's actually pretty, pretty good, to be fair. I suppose they got to be mobile, haven't they? God, it's loud. Well, we have plenty of vehicles. We're very safe. So the duffel bag, we can add side slots, but no weapon slots. So I don't think, I think we'll keep this survival hiking bag till we find either another hiking backpack or a military backpack or something like that. Yeah, what a few bloody days. Wow. Ah, I don't know what I've actually done with my scissors. <laughs> uh, we do need them as well to make them. Oh, we got plenty of leather anyway, but still I would, would like a pair of scissors. Got the sledgehammer back in the truck. Oh, we have actually red metal working one. That's nice. Not that much food in here, but we do have the supermarket just over the road. Best base location ever, I think this is. But it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 20. We are getting through. And what a 10 days this has been. Bloody hell. Look at this base. This is actually the best base. Maybe the bunker in the I Am Legend run we did. But I like this one. So much space. So many cars. Uh, so I suppose the next 10, we're probably going to... We, I want to go to this boat. We've got to go in here. We need to find a bed for our new base as well. we got a lot to do. We need to put some fences, fix the fence down here. Yeah, we got a lot to do. we got a lot to do still. Have a quick look what guns we've actually got. Do we have a shotgun? I don't think we do. No, we got a lot of uh, rifles and stuff, but no shotgun. That's fine, though. I'm sure we have some shotgun shells. I'll probably put them somewhere. God knows. But yeah, we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it's been a busy 10 days. And we never normally do a lot on a 10th day anyway. So we're probably going to leave it there for today. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Just want to give a massive thank you to all of our YouTube members. But a big shout out to everyone on the Shambler tier. John Smith, Rob Jones, 309 Basehead, Akuna Whiskey, McDaddy Too Cool, Norm Slater, Sudsy34, Jasmina Composition, Geek Love Nails, and A Coach in Lunacy. Thanks guys, really appreciate it.